Today I'm fishing at distance with a front-loaded cage feeder that I'm casting round about 80 metres. Now when you're casting a long way and fishing with worms on the hook, it's difficult sometimes to, to know that the worm has stayed on the hook when you're hooking it as normal. Because as you punch that feeder out, there's a lot, a lot of pressure on hook bait. So what I tend to do is fish with a hair rig and a, a push stop. And the push stop I just use very, very simply, I take hold of the line, just twist it round my finger so it's locked off. Right, and then I take hold of a worm and I'm just going to use a worm head. So all you do, you squeeze the worm and then put the push stop through its nose and out of the side about a centimetre down the worm. And as you can see, once that stop is out at the side of the worm, the worm is then on the hook. You, you wouldn't believe how difficult it is to actually take that worm off now. If I actually get hold of it, you'd think that it would be difficult to pull that worm off, but you can see I can actually break the worm before I actually pull it off at oak. So there's still a small piece on. Right, so when you're casting a long way, that's the best way to hook the worm, is just with a, a push stop through the end of the nose of the worm, and then you can fish with a full worm, you can fish with half a worm. Today I've been catching on just a, an inch piece of worm on the hook. So that's a brilliant way for distance fishing when you're using worm hook baits.